I hope you're having an amazing day. As you saw from the title of this video, we're doing a full face of She Glam makeup. So it's basically makeup that you can find on the Shein app or website. And basically we use the Corpse Bride collection. We have a couple of things from their like summer collection, their love collection. We have a lot of like staple products that I mentioned in my other favorites videos. Um, there's a crow right outside my window for some reason. So if you hear that, that's what's going on. But basically, full face of She Glam. That is the theme for my shop, my stash for the month of June. So if you want to see all the products thrown on my face and how I came up with this look, just keep on watching. <laughs> all right, first I'm going to go ahead and take my lip balm. This is called their Coco Yum Lip Balm from their Willy Wonka collection. So if you haven't seen this, that's how that looks. Looks like s'mores almost. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and apply some on the lips. And now looking back at my picking my makeup section of my shop my stash. Literally, I had the Corpse Bride lip balm right there too. I could have picked that, but it's okay. We pick this one. I feel like this one's way more hydrating than the Corpse Bride lip balm um, and this is the one I would recommend over that one but you know it's cute feels really nice and hydrating on the lips as well I just like scratched this area because it was itchy I knew it it turned red all right so we have three brow products with us today the first one we're gonna use is this one this is our brow raising wax stick so you guys have seen this before it's a little messy now I like to choose the shade chocolate on the website because I just feel like it just goes best with my hair so this is just a wax stick so I just go ahead and go through the brows and it just kind of tints them so this is like a one gum product for a lot of people but I like to go in and shape the brows as well you know what but it does like snag some of your brow hair so beware of that so I'm just kind of like laminating them down we also have the little brush I completely forgot about it so I'm just gonna sweep through the brow all right, now we're going to go in with this product. So this is one of my favorites. You guys know I mentioned in so many favorites videos. This is a Brows on Demand 2-in-1 Brow Pencil. And today we're not going to use this side here, the marker, because we have a specific one for that. But we are going to use the Slim Brow side just to shape the brows. Also in the shade Chocolate. So now that we have the initial outline, we can finally go in with this product. This is from their Frida Kahlo collection, and this is called their Brow Iconic Liquid Brow Pen. I believe this one also is in chocolate. It sounds like something's in there, so I'm going to go ahead and shake. And we're going to fill in these sparse parts of the brow, and this is just a super thin marker situation just to create those brow strokes. I'm going to fill in any like sparse areas. I'm gonna go ahead and take my She Glam Concealer. This one here is in Coconut Flakes. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the brows with this. Now just blending everything out with my sponge. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and take my Corpse Bride She Glam Collection Palette. So this is called, the actual name is Moonlight Eyeshadow Palette. Again, from She Glam and Corpse Bride. They still have this um, collection available, as I mentioned in my last video. So there's a look at the colors in here. Really stunning. Vision for this look is really simple makeup on the upper lid and then blues on the lower lash line. So that's what I'm feeling. I think I'm, this is going to go in the lower lash line. But I'm thinking like some gray kind of tones on the lid. And then maybe some of this... On the lid as well so this is their insta party glitter liner but i think i'm going to use it as eyeshadow and this shade is stunning this one here is in the shade confetti all right as i mentioned i'm going to take this shade right here it's just like a nude kind of moment let's see if this even shows up on the lid if not i'm gonna have to start mixing but i'm just gonna throw that right here such a nice palette it's definitely not for the faint of heart <laughs> But if you're into the collection, it's really cute. I'm also going to show you guys the highlight that came with this collection. Really well thought out collection. I really like it. Well, you know what? Now that we're here, before I forget, let me show you their lip balm. So this is the Corpse Bride Collection Lip Balm. It is a blue lip balm. Goes with the color of the Corpse Bride. It's really nice. It's like a see-through kind of moment. Again, it's just a clear lip balm. 
really nice right so this whole time when i've had this i didn't know this is a ring so it comes with a little ring because you know it's the bride and it's just really nice so really well thought out now that we're here let me just show you the highlight so it's like a changing picture on the front as you can see butterflies and then you get to corpse bride and this is called their beaming butterfly highlighter and there's a look at the inside so if you're wanting to shop this collection i'll just have it linked down below now um because i'm gonna forget but i really wanted to show you guys before i forget the lip balm because i think that's so cute never noticed that i didn't even think that that was a ring but yeah so cute i've never noticed this shade right here i'm kind of scared to go into it though it's like a dark gray huh and i don't want to go too dark on the lid so i'm just going to mix these two here and i'm gonna go ahead and go on the outer corner with those but you see like these are not as dark as that other shade so trying to keep it a little more airy on the upper so i'm gonna go ahead and take this shade right here the shimmer is so beautiful i'm gonna take it on the lid all right now i'm gonna go ahead and take the confetti shade i'm gonna take some on my finger and just kind of spread it on the lid let's see how that looks all right guys so this is the look we have going on right now so i'm gonna go ahead and take my liners well technically this one only the artista liquid liner in blue and i'm gonna go ahead and create a wing with this product all right i'm gonna have to bring in some rescue because i'm gonna use this ellie colors eyeliner because this is so chunky i think i'm just gonna have to throw it in my empties already it's just so like thick you see how that's how it gets over time the artista liquid liner so this is how i know like it's time for a new one because once it comes in new it's like at a point so yeah when it's like kind of flared like that that means it's time so i'm gonna go ahead and use this to kind of fix up the wing part next i'm gonna go ahead and take the she glam max impact easy off mascara so i'm gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of this on that's how the wand looks you know what we also have some corpse bride lashes but they're just a little too dramatic right now and i am going to work <laughs> so yeah but i'm gonna go ahead and just throw some of this on this is really nice really easy to use i mentioned it in favorites videos love the wand the applicator it's a really good mascara i also did purchase the you guys know the green tube it's actually in my shop my stash but i don't have it with me it's a waterproof mascara they actually came out with one that's not waterproof and i picked it up and it's here i used it yesterday and it's actually really good all right so i'm gonna go ahead and apply some lashes i'm gonna do the awa studio bionic vegan mink lashes i don't really have any like she glam ones like again the sh the corpse bride ones are nice they're just a little too big for me like really long so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply these it's just my favorite ones and then we'll be right back all right next we have two different primers so we have the birthday skin primer you guys are aware of this one you guys have seen it a lot on my channel and then this one is part of their love dive collection this is their moisturizing one love dive at first sight moisturizing primer i actually did do a whole video using this collection as well and i think this is the only thing no we also have their blush in here as well their love dive blush so they have a lot of really cute pink things on their site so if you're into that yes um really cute really nice and moisturizing product love the packaging and this is basically just a like moisturizer for your face so i'm gonna go ahead and grab some of that with my brush just spread it out it feels really cooling it feels so good and also i don't know if i have a she glam playlist but if i do it's gonna be linked down below if you want to watch my other videos i also did a corpse bride video and a willy wonka video so i literally like if i bought the collection there's a chance that i did a video on it except for the frida kahlo one i just haven't gotten around to it if you have dry skin girl you're gonna love this and then it just like dries down and then this one is definitely different this is more like a pore filler so i just throw it in the center of the face so like the inner portions this one's also really cute they also have a different color it's like white not sure what that one does but this one here is their birthday skin primer it's like a pinky pastel vibe 
so i'm just gonna go ahead and spread this out next taking this product so this is their foundation you guys know i love it i mentioned it so many times on my channel complexion pro matte foundation in the shade honey love this it was between this and the skin balm but i'm like mm, kind of need it to last so i'm gonna go ahead and take this about two pumps and i'm just gonna go ahead and blend it in this is so full coverage all right so we do have three cream products so we have their bronzer in warm honey that's what we're gonna go in with first comes like that and funny enough she glam started carrying a dupe of this on their website which is so weird i don't know how much that is though but i'm gonna go ahead and just swipe it on today usually i do little dots but it's okay again i use the shade warm honey yeah so weird so they started carrying some very like different products now i guess trying to compete with timu very interesting but their products are still girl 10 out of 10. i don't know if i mentioned that i just placed an order on their site i bought a bunch of uh, new pants on there like legging type pants really love those really comfortable they are see-through annoying but i also buy little shorts from there so i just wear like little black shorts under my pants and it just works out and i also did pick up some more brow pencils as well because i'm telling you i love their duo pencil so i bought like two of those also some little trash bags like literally i love their site they have so many good things next taking their blush so this is called color bloom day glow liquid blush in love cake i decided to go with the more pinky blush today and i do want to make the cheeks really stand out so i'm gonna go ahead and blend that out i'm definitely wanting a pink blush today pinky blushed look all right going in with my sponge just gonna tone it down lastly for creams we have their highlight this is called their glow bloom liquid highlighter in bellini brunch and this one's interesting comes with the dofa applicator and this one again is more on the pinky side so i'm just gonna swipe it on and just blend it in all right next going back to the concealer I'm going to go ahead and apply some of that on the under eyes. This is actually a really nice concealer. I find myself reaching for it. I don't know if it's a doe fat applicator. I like it because it's kind of thin and then flat on both edges. But it's like a really good color for me as well. So I don't know. I've just really been liking it. All right, next we're going to go into powder products. First off, we have the Velvet Veil Oil Control Powder in the shade Warm Sand. I don't want to give you guys too much of it up close because it's kind of dirty. But there's a look at that powder. It's really good. When you see like products are like super dirty like this, that's how you know I love them. And then we also have one of their newer products. This is called their Skin Focus High Coverage Powder Foundation. So I like to just throw some of this on over top just to give me some more coverage you know it's just a really nice product it doesn't take over the skin it doesn't make me look like really cakey or like make my face feel heavy at all so i really much enjoy this so i'm gonna go ahead and take this as well all over the outer portions of the face and then inner portions with the other powder and this one here is in honey also i just noticed recently it does come with a mirror and a little puff on the bottom as well haven't touched it it's like new but literally didn't even notice that i'm just gonna go ahead and dip into this powder and i'm gonna set the under eyes all right and then taking this on the outer portions of the face i went ahead and used the micro little brow side and i went ahead and fixed the brows a little bit more and now i'm gonna take this product which is their styling brow gel in the shade brown oh these are gonna be dark girl very dark dark brows and i always tend to get some where i don't want it but they like it's like a really easy product to remove so yep so i want to finish up the lower lash line i'm just like tying up loose ends right now that's basically what i'm doing before we get into lips and face products so i'm gonna take the ellie colors gel liner in hypnotize i think no hypnotic and i'm gonna apply it down here 
lower lash line and then going back to the eyeshadow palette i'm gonna take the blue shade that i told you guys about this one here taking the blue on the lower lashes I'm a little tempted to do my lips first. I'm going to take this um, lip liner from the Soul Lippy Lip Liner Set. And this one specifically, I don't know the name of because there's like no specific name on it. Which is a little annoying, but I'm going to go ahead and take this liner. These are really nice and creamy. Next, I'm going to take two of my liquid lipsticks from She Glam. We have the shade Haters and Bougie. So I'm going to take Haters first. We're going to use the other one in the center, but how stunning is this color? The shade Haters on its own already is giving, but I kind of want to take some of Bougie and kind of like put some on the center. This one's just a little lighter. I'm going to take some on my finger, not too much, in the center of the lips. And that just gave me like the most subtle brightness right here no gloss today however i'm really feeling that like matte lip look all right lastly let's go into a face product so we have my favorite bronzer from she glam this is their uh sunside bronzer in the shade sunset walk i love the packaging of this bronzer love it i'm gonna go ahead and take some of that and just start bronzing the skin with this next i'm gonna go ahead and take the blush this is their love dive tender heart powder blush this one here is in the shade quarterly yours and this is an orangey kind of vibe i wish i would have picked up the pink one to be honest because this one's just like kind of powdery but you know i'm just gonna take some on the cheeks oh it's still a beautiful color and lastly i'm gonna take the highlight that i showed you guys earlier this is again their beaming butterfly highlighter from the she glam corpse bride collection and this is a very like icy blue undertone kind of moment it's really beautiful so i'm going to take some on the inner corner as well as on the face look at a subtle kind of moment not glittery at all really pretty last but not least we have their setting spray this is called their press refresh setting spray and this is just a really beautiful like coconut smelling setting spray i really love it because it looks like upside down it's a really cute packaging and yeah it's really nice it's just like nothing extraordinary but i really love the mister it's just really cute Okay, guys so this is the final look let me know your thoughts down below i really love how everything came out the corpse ride collection for sure girl just a really nice collection i think it's really cute especially if you watch the movie i haven't i've seen a couple of videos ever since i picked up the collection but nothing like crazy i haven't watched the whole thing but let me know if you watch the corpse ride movie let me know if it's good should i watch it i don't know um but everything else you know girl cheap glam they have some really amazing products and i've come to like find some really great staples on there that i just like keep repurchasing so that's how you know like i love something is when i buy it over and over because i get bored with products so easily and i'm like okay it was great it was cute i don't need it again kind of vibes like i'd much rather try something new but when i pick up the same product over and over that's how you know girl it's good um so yeah everything that i tried today everything that i've been loving it's just like all came together and it just looks amazing so i'm gonna have a amazing skin day today and my eyes just look great as well so yeah i'm ready for the day let me know your thoughts down below what is your favorite product from she glam let me know in the comments let me know if i haven't like mentioned something um that you love let me know in the comments, girl, so I can pick it up. So, yeah, that's it. We made it to the end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.